Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. All right, hey traders, I'm going to be covering uh, silver gold and also GDX in today's, in this market update here. So let's get straight into it right now. Uh, so uh, the gold market has continued to be doing nothing for a very, very, very long time now. now. Over two months now of pretty much nothing but sideways movement and action through here. So uh, to me, gold looks like it's having a pretty very nice resting phase where we are right now. A very nice resting phase before we actually probably, we're probably likely to break to the upside. We've got a very nice, we had a move to the downside through here to the bottom of the channel. Move to the upside, we had a bit of a pullback through here. But notice we're getting very small sort of candles through here, so I wouldn't be too surprised to see some movement to the upside on gold. Moving on now to the silver. Silver right now is in a very big sort of tight triangle pattern overall. This is a massive, massive triangle pattern from here to here. Tight triangle pattern and a big break up and out. I do see coming soon. And once we get this big break up and out in silver, it's gonna be really, really, really exciting. I definitely see uh, exciting stuff for silver coming on and moving forward from there. Moving on now through to GDX. And GDX right now on the daily chart, we're getting this very, very, very sort of short-term pullback through here, as you can see. Very short-term pullback. Uh, I, I don't know how long the pullback is going to continue or how long it's going to last or how long this is going to last here. But what I do know is looking on the weekly chart, let's erase everything off the screen again. What I do know on this weekly chart is the weekly chart we have right here. Okay, so this weekly chart right here, resistance, resistance. So we're almost pretty much right at that level there right now. That's where it's having a bit of problems on the daily chart right around there. So even if we do get a bit more of a pullback, guys, this big move up, we are likely to create some form of higher low through here. We've created this high, so I wouldn't be too surprised to create a higher low through here and start to see a movement up from there. Moving on now through to the GDX. Uh, GDXJ, should I say, and same for the GDXJ as well too. Nice pullback through here. Even if we did get a pullback, guys, we're right now, right now we're on the weekly chart. We're closing around that 43.97. Uh, even if we did continue down for a little bit more or whatever, or sideways for a bit, uh, even if we did continue down for a bit more, I definitely said the market's probably likely to start to, even if we did come down through here, we're probably likely to scoop and then head back up again. I believe this whole move from here to here, or should I say this here is the ultimate bottom for many years to come. SILJ, same sort of formation, same patterns I'm seeing right now when it comes to the SILJ as well too. Um, as you can see, that's what's happening through there. So we're getting, we came up. This is a V bottom right now. It hit the resistance level, as you can see. So definitely hit the resistance level. Uh, you can see how it actually ran up, hit the resistance, came back down, had a little rally up, and now we're getting a little rollover. So on a short term, I wouldn't be too surprised to see a bit of a pullback through here on the SILJ. But that weekly chart is probably going to kick in soon. And we're probably likely to start to see a higher low. Remember, this is a weekly chart, guys, right? So it takes a whole week for one of these candles to form, okay? So just be patient with it all. And S-I-L-J, same, oh, sorry, the S-I-L, same sort of thing as well, too. Let me just erase everything off the screen. Uh, we can see we're getting a bit of a pullback through here. We do have, there's major resistance levels right where we are right now. Probably even a bit lower than that. So that level from there and even this level through here. SILJ has a lot of sort of support levels. So if, once again, even if we did get a bit of a pullback down to say even 30, then I'm very confident that we're likely to form a bit of a bottom or a high low somewhere. Um, and then the, then this bull market will continue because I truly believe this bottom through here is the ultimate bottom for many years to come.